Welcome or welcome back to my channel everyone. Um, today I am going to be sharing with you all my non-candle empties. So I've got some house, like home stuff. I've got shower type thing, oral care, uh, makeup empties. I actually went through an actual piece of makeup, which I'm super proud of, which is not a big deal, but whatever. And I was kind of decluttering my stash and I was like, there's a bunch of things here that well, I'll explain, but I am getting rid of because it's been a bit much. So I, I think I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. I think I feel like, I know I have a lot of makeup. So and I don't share a lot of that with you guys here on this channel because I know most of you guys are candle lovers. But um, I'm really get, trying to purge the items that if I haven't, it's like, it's kind of like clothing with me. When I put clothing away for the end of a season and I, you know, go to bring it out again the following year, I am think back, did I wear this? If I didn't wear it more than maybe once or twice, then it's gone. So I'm trying to be a little bit better with makeup, kind of following the lines of that. So anyway, let's get into some empties. So some household stuff. I have a Gaines original, original scented fabric softener. I only use this for towels and bedding and things like that. I don't use it with athletic gear or anything like that because it'll take the stretch away. So anyway, I have a Greenworks all-purpose cleaner. I use this to pretty much clean everything. Actually, it does really well on glass as well, which is pretty cool. Actually, put everything in the little container I have right here. I'm filming right before work again. Yesterday I filmed it was gloriously sunny, and today is the wet coast, as we call ourselves here on the west. So, and the lastly for the household, I have Gain Fireworks in wash scent booster. I wanted to try a different brand. I'm normally a downy person, but I want to try a different one. It smells. It smells pretty good. Yeah, it smells, it smells decent, so. Uh, hair care. Couple items I finished. Yeah, okay. So I have a conditioner that I've been working on for quite some time. Uh, the Nourishing Coconut Milk Conditioner. Organics, I think it is, but I th yeah, Organics, but I'm not sure if they've changed, the, like this is something I've had for a while, so it's taken me a while to go through. I'm not sure if this company has changed names or something. OGX, I want to say, is maybe what their new name is. And I went through my beloved Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask for your hair. Just the regular size. Um, yeah, so I did not get this on discount. The one I purpose, uh, pur pur the one I just purchased, I got at Winners, and it was like twenty four ninety nine. Whereas I think these are originally at some stores. If I can't find them, like I really do try to obviously stock the ones that are cheaper. Um, this is almost forty dollars here in Canada. Just the the regular size is not even the deluxe. So, shower went through a poof. So basically my rule of thumb is no matter what, like, you know, I go through two shower gels and I'll get rid of a poof. Uh, I go through gel shower gels fairly decently. So speaking of shower gel, I went through, um, this would have been from Christmas of 2014 from Lush. It's the Hot Toddy Shower Gel. It's got little sparkles. Yeah, they stayed on the bottom, which is fine by me. Um, it was limited edition. It only came out at Christmas in 2014. It didn't come back this year or this past Christmas. It says, spicy, lustrous, and seriously softening, this ginger cinnamon gel will bring you in front of the cold, in from the cold, and leave you feeling clean and cozy. It was nice. I don't think I ever purchased that. Uh, it was just too cinnamony, and I shower in the morning, so it's more of like an evening, I don't know. This wasn't me. Two hand creams I went through were both from Philosophy. This one was the Raspberries and Cream, which reminds me of those little lollipops that were like the cheap ones that you would get. It was, pla they would be lined like, anyway, they would be lined like plastic. And they're white with like uh, rainbow colors on them. That's what this one reminded me in the smell. And the Cranberry Medley. So I went through two of those. A sample from Lush. They gave me Wash That Man right out of my hair shower gel. No, I mean, it was all right. It can just, it, I don't know. There's only a certain few in Lush that I really, really adore. And Rose Jam is one of them, which is in my shower right now. And that's limited edition, sorry. I went through this big old tub here of lotion, Wild Argon Body Butter Oil. Body Butter. So it's the jumbo size. So that is that. Now for makeup. Well, nails, I went through these. If you saw a few of my videos, you'll see they're either really sparkly blue nails or really sparkly pink nails. Well, the blue one is, is called the Crowd Surfer Sally Hansen Effects 
they're like nil nail strips and then the same kind of thing but this one was called bling it on I happened to get this one on sale for five dollars so I guess where I got them from they were clearancing it out love them um, essence blotting or powder paper so for blotting powder I'd always have one of these on my for at my work because I get oily in the afternoon I have the NYX ones that are the black packaging at my work right now I'm really liking those too I went through creations garden spatial exfoliator oatmeal now I've mentioned this before I've, I bought a whole bunch of them I have one left in my shower um, these were on clearance at Rexall which is a local drugstore here in Canada because um, I don't think they stopped making this so anyway but I, I enjoyed it I love this total repurchase sweet Leilani Hawaiian cleanse foaming cleanser um, all made in Canada um, she's just an amazing person I uh, really really enjoy this and yeah it smells like you're putting a little bit of, like lemon meringue pie on your face it's a lovely foaming cleanser which I once I finish something else in my shower I will repurchase this foaming cleanser for my daily um, shower type cleanser so totally go through that I went through a Neutrogena facial wipes because a girl's got to take off her makeup in one way or shape or form and these which you'll see in my empties pretty much every month these are the Alame oil free makeup eraser sticks love them because I know I'm not I'm a whatever I'm weird but I put my mascara on first because I'm a sloppy mascara putter on her so put mascara on her first and then I go in with um, one of those sticks after a couple minutes and go through all the spots because what happens is if I do all my eye makeup and I go to put mascara on I always get mascara all over my eye makeup and whatever it's just a mess <laughs> this the name is totally off of it this was the um Algenist eye cream which I got in one of those sampler bags or not bags the boxes that I would get with skincare love this I would absolutely repurchase it's really expensive but I have more than my fair share of eye creams right now that I'm going to have to go through so maybe by the time November of next year when they do the sale at Sephora I'll probably repurchase that and Clarins extra firming tightening lift botanical serum uh, again I got this in one of those little uh, facial boxes from Sephora um, it was alright it actually was a lot more product in here than I would have given it credit for at the beginning because Clarins to me lately it's I get stuff and it's like it, it's mostly packaging basically um, I did get more product in this but again what I will say about Clarins is there this stuff is supposed to go on your face and it smells like perfume like it smells like a woman's perfume so I don't like it for the perfume I don't think I'll repurchase this because of that and I got a long comb visionaire advanced skin corrector wrinkles pores and evenness this is all right but I didn't like the applicator like you had to go dip it in I, yeah I didn't like the applicator for this little travel size but I'm, I'm sure it's quite nice and I mean it lasted a couple weeks and the makeup thing that I went through was a Remmel uh, East End snob uh, lip pencil I what I would do is fill my entire lip in with that and then go in with um, Dolly or um, Sophia from Buxom on top okay so items I'm getting rid of oh no before you get to that lush okay so in February I went through a dashing through the sand a dashing Santa bath bomb a butter bear bath bomb ickle baby bot bath bomb a 2015 love locket bath bomb which I use three different times because you, they're huge uh, 2015 heart shaped bubble room which I can't remember the name of it anymore I'm sorry you guys a buffy shower scrub which is my number one shower scrub that I just use a couple times a week and it's got so much moisturizing properties that you don't even have like I don't have to moisturize my legs after it's amazing uh, shimmery heart bubble bar which was a valent like it was a little shimmering heart I don't know what the name of it was from 2015 Valentine's and a Godiva sh uh, shampoo bar which is great and I still have another one and I'm working on it really quickly so this doesn't go too long a couple brushes they are all by Quo I believe Quo is a brand here in Canada from Shoppers Drug Mart but I've had these for so long and this one I just don't have a use for anymore I don't have numbers on anything this one actually hurts for a crease like it feels fluffy and then until you go in there and it kind of hurts and this one sheds so I don't like that one so much I was using it for blush but no thanks um okay the body shops wonder blur uh it was like poor like a poor thing 
I got through a decent chunk of it. It, it just it doesn't do anything for me to be perfectly honest with you. I haven't found that poor thing that oh you know like I haven't found that product yet. This this was mm, so anyway. I figured like again if I'm not going to use it, it's going uh, along with all these other products. Oh and I forgot I had a toothpaste. Sorry guys. Oops. I have a toothpaste here that I went through. through the Crest 3D White in Radiant Mint. So apologies, I totally missed that. I went through a lot of stuff. Okay, I've had these probably for five years. They're the Bourgeois Paris shadows, but they're the sparkly shadows. Each one of them has a little mirror on the top, and then of course the color, and then the little applicator. They would only really look good if you added like a water or a fix plus or something to them, but I don't, I just don't wear them. I don't wear, like I do have some shimmery things. This is like almost a green, greeny gray. I just, I have, I have to just let them go because you can tell I barely use them. Um, something I've had for quite some time and actually I'm surprised I haven't hit pan on parts of this. this is an old Sephora for palette for ombre, four shadows and liner palette. So that was that one. And the colors were great. And I use this quite a bit. And like I said, I'm surprised I didn't hit pan in any of them, to be honest with you. It's just, I've had this for a very long time. As you can probably tell, the support doesn't make them quite like this anymore. Um, so it was just, it was time. Something I'm throwing. Okay, I, a while ago, I got some stuff in Bare Minerals. It was just like a little sampler pack. It was for free. It didn't, wasn't even points or anything. There was like a mineral veil, a mascara, and this. I wonder if any of you guys have this pop of passion in any of the colors from Bare Minerals. Mine's in Pink Passion. Like I said, I got it in that little box uh, set of three items. The color is super cute. I was like, oh, I'll hold on to it for summer because that will be perfect for summer. Oh, no. It's disgusting. Ugh. I don't even know what to say. It smells like putty. I don't know. I mean, like, it would have been really nice. It would have been like a, the perfect, like, put in your bag, go for the summer. But that is gross. And it's I'm not keeping it because it stinks. Maybe that's why they put it into those boxes because it was running, running a bit, sh like, bad. <laughs> so I thought I'd give the Revlon Ultra Volume Mascara a try. Nope, didn't do nothing for me. Didn't do a thing. <laughs> Missed the box. Epic fail. And I got, okay, so I love Sweet Leilani. I love everything about the whole product. I love all my products. I would love these next three products are all like the lipsticks, but they're too frosty for me. So um, I'm just gonna take off the lids for you. I, the lighting is horrible right now. They're just too frosty for my taste. So I am letting these go. And oh, so they're but they're beautiful and like their colors the color named bamboo the second one I showed was seahorse and the first one I showed was sea urchin they're beautiful but it just they're they're too frosty for my take my taste um, so again it was one of those things I tried them and I just found myself I wasn't using them so anyway you guys really long video but these are my February empties so of 2016 so thanks very much for sticking with me and you guys have a great day